the fantastic categories just keep coming. Let it never be said that there isn't an awesome Jewish deli in Utah. Feldman's Deli, Mike, Joe, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Have you guys won this award before? No. We've only been around for about 14 months. No kidding. That's right. What caused you to set up shop in Utah? Deli addiction. We were craving the food, and nobody else would do it, so we decided somebody had to do it. We saw that there were de Jewish delis in Denver, Phoenix, Las Vegas, and we're in the bagel hole. How come there's no Jewish deli in Salt Lake? There's a pretty decent-sized Jewish population. Indeed there is. You know, the, the Jewish uh, settlers came across with the Mormons in the late 1850s and 60s. We need a Jewish deli, so we did it. This is probably, even though I've eaten in a lot of Jewish delis all across this wonderful country, a little bit of an uninitiated question, but what are the essential ingredients for a true Jewish deli? Corned beef, pastrami, rye bread, deli mustard, matzo balls, knishes. I mean, those are the staples in a good Jewish deli. You can move beyond that to things like um, brisket and chicken fricassee and paprikash. Uh, we're trying to do a little combination of Eastern European cooking, which is where the Jews who started the delis in New York came from. When they got to New York, they saw all the German delis, but of course they were Orthodox and kosher, so they couldn't eat uh, pork. So they had to come up with a flavorful variation on the theme. So they came up with corned beef and pastrami, and that's how the Jewish delis got started. Fantastic. How's the reception been? Phenomenal. The articles keep coming. Uh, this is a phenomenal award. I mean, like I said, we've only been around for about 14 months. So this is amazing that we've, we're getting this kind of recognition. The community has been unbelievable. I call it deli addiction. Once they come in, they keep coming back. <laughs> I'm certain of that. Joe, are you working hard, hard, or having super fun? Uh, I would honestly say it's super fun seeing the family succeed. Like after all the hard work we've put in, just seeing us, seeing it all pay off like this is unimaginable. Couldn't have ever dreamed it in my wildest of dreams. After this award, do you have a motivation to add, to expand? What's, what's in the plans for 2014? Well, the game plan is to expand. I mean, we'd like to expand our hours to include brunch on Sundays. That would be our four way, four, foray into the, the breakfast mode, which people have been asking us, because we, we make our own bagels and bialis. And you can imagine the corned beef hash that we could create with the corned beef pastrami that mm -hmm. we're bringing in from New York. I can imagine. <laughs> um, so that, what, that's in our, you know, more foresee, the, the closer foreseeable future. Uh, I can see us moving up to Park City and in, into the avenues with, with Feldman's 2 and 3. Uh, but we've got to get Feldman's in Sugar House going on all cylinders first. Mike and Joe, the Feldman's, congratulations on your award. Keep up the fantastic work. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you.